CLB Go Hard Go Home Hi, I'm Kermin. Hi, I'm Peng Chu. So in today's episode, we have Peng Chu here, who's a CLP graduate, to share his stories and experience on experiencing CLP. So as an introduction, could you tell us like, why did you, between PTC and CLP, why did you choose CLP over the other? Because I was a bank graduate scholar, right? Uh-huh. So I was actually summoned back <laughs> yeah, to, to work. Um, but it was good. Uh, um, I think CLP BTC, CLP is cheaper, much cheaper than BTC. Mm-hmm. So does that mean you were self finance or did bank to ask this person? Oh no, 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 I was self finance for oh, CLP, yeah. Mm. So in that case, like, does that mean you study part time and work as well? So how did you juggle between this and? Our first year was in work in. BNM and juggling CLB at the same time, I think it was, it was a pretty tough thing to do. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Cause in the morning and in the work, and it's, that's in my first year. And you know, during our days in university, right, we, we, are, we are not required to learn evidence law in the UK. So I have zero knowledge of evidence law, oh. and zero knowledge of Malaysian criminal procedure as well. Mm-hmm. But, I was in the prosecution team. Uh-huh. So that was pretty tough for me uh, to actually take to actually learn up learn up the processes pretty fast and get involved in cases. Yeah. That was that was pretty tough for me. But um, it was manageable. It was man- definitely manageable. Um, and what I learned in CLB is actually very relevant to my job because CLB criminal procedure and evidence they are two big subjects. Mm. Oh, but before that, like, could you give us a chronological overview, like, in what year did you graduate and come back? Oh, I graduated in 2018, came back then, then and I started in August 2018, so September 2018, yeah. Oh, then during September itself, you also enrolled for the CLP course, huh? Yeah, yeah. Meaning yeah. you, oh, you, your CLP graduated in 2019, then? Yeah. yeah, I graduated in 2019, last year. Oh, so it was like fast pace, so you didn't take any break or whatnot? Man. I did not, actually. I did not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's correct. <laughs> then, from there, like, where did you enroll then? Uh, oh, I wrote, I wrote BAC, BAC. KL. Uh-huh. KL is for part time. Uh-huh. Because the lectures are at night. Oh, they're yeah. all at night. They're all at night. So, how much were the fees and how did you find the lecturers? Then? I find BAC is actually doing a very good job, to be honest with you. Um, Although the environment is just like some simple, simple shop houses where the BAC chaos on campus, mm-hmm. uh, the facilities itself is of course nothing as compared to Cambridge already right? mm-hmm. because of the resource constraint, right? Financial constraint. The the fees I would not say is ex- is very expensive, uh, right? It's, I think at that, that time it's around thirteen thousand the whole thing, right? The whole cost, uh, not including exam fee uh, uh, the lectures are very good. The lectures actually they impart. I think they try their best to impart all the knowledge, mm-hmm. right? BAC give us fantastic notes, right? Because I think the learning of BAC and uh, during my undergrad days in Cambridge, they are different. Mm-hmm. Firstly, because CLP, the whole the whole point of CLP is just to pass the examination, right? Mm-hmm. You want you wouldn't want to fail two subjects, five mm-hmm. subjects, you fail two subjects, and you need to repeat the whole year, right? Mm-hmm. So I think BAC do a good job in giving us uh, all the notes we require. Um, the lectures try their the lectures the lectures actually they are quite committed in the sense that they come during weekends and, and give us revision classes and they um, the support is good lah I would say BAC and you can actually text them you know, if you don't understand any, any, anything you can actually text BAC I'm not doing any advertisement free advertisement for BAC but <coughs> I I was quite impressed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh that's nice then. Yeah. Like, you know, because you're someone who actually went to Cambridge, you're like, what? what? Can you do a contrast between the what? lecturers there and lecturers here? Like, no, nah, it's just a personal opinion. Nah. Okay, um, contrast. Uh, I think in Cambridge, you are re- much, you are required to, I, it's more demanding. Mm-hmm. Cambridge is very demanding in a sense. The, the course itself, the exam is 
very demanding. It's easy to pass, it's much easier to pass than CLB, right? Uh-huh. But it's demanding in the sense that um, you if you if you just read the notes, right? Mm-hmm. And you write reproduce it in the exam, you get a low very low grade. Mm-hmm. Because they do not want that, right? So the notes in which Cambridge lecture gave gave me, right, gave us, is actually very incomplete one. Yes, it's very incomplete one. But yeah, so you, they they want you to go to sit down during the lectures and really do your notes there, record your notes, oh. and do your own research. Uh-huh. Do your own research, read the cases, read the textbook, read the cases, read all the cases, understand what let's say understand what Baroness Cable says, you need to understand what Lord uh, uh Lord Denning says uh-huh. in this in this text and why um, all recent cases people disagree with Lord Denning, mm-hmm. how 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 his judgments are no longer um, applicable nowadays because the, the the commercial cases are getting more complicated and stuff, right? So you really have to do your reading. You really have to do your reading for in, in Cambridge and you have to you have to produce good notes, huh? right? But if you if you're very good seniors, like all I think some Singaporean seniors they are, I think they really produce fantastic notes. Right? Uh-huh. And if they are willing to pass the use uh-huh. shortcut, uh-huh. Right? shortcut. So um, that one so but Cambridge one thing good is that you, you are thrown to a swimming pool and you need to swim yourself, right? Mm-hmm. But the supervision and stuff, so you are constantly monitored during the supervision. Your, your progress is actually monitored. Oh. So if you do not do well in the supervision and stuff, right? Your teachers will know, like, oh, this guy actually is, is not doing a good job, right? So the pressure comes in, they will start pressuring you already, like, hey, you know, you're not, you're not keeping up to the mark and stuff. So uh, you have to do it, man. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, the actual thing you you have to do the actual thing, the actual work in Cambridge. So before the examination, actually you I think you are very well prepared already. Mm. <coughs> it's not like during the two months of preparation uh, of <coughs> examination months, you cram in everything. No such thing in Cambridge. Because during the supervision I think you are you are monitored very closely. Mm-hmm. And the term is only eight weeks, you know. Eight weeks term, you know. Eight week term. Uh. One year only three terms. So but two terms of lectures only. So in, in total there are only 16 weeks of lectures, 16 uh-huh. weeks of supervision. During these 16 weeks is uh, is very stressful and very demanding and you have to do your work. So but the holiday is uh, the good news is that if you eight week term, then you have six to seven weeks holiday. Uh-huh. Then another eight week term, six to seven weeks holiday. Well, that's like quite a long gap though. Yes, but the eight week right, you will see posters flying around. Like Oh, it's the term is half halfway through already. You are halfway there already. You uh-huh. start because it's really very stressful. Uh-huh. It's really rest, It's no joke. Man. CLP is different. CLP you have a, a long year of preparation, right? The first three years, the first three months. I mean, sorry, the first three months or first four to five months, right? Is you you don't have you don't have, have to do any supervision or tutorial, right? Mm-hmm. Some tutorial just go there and then talk in the. The whole tutorial is the, is the same, the number is the same as the lecturers, it, as in the lecture. Mm. So your the lecturer is not going to ask you personally whether you understand or not, right? So you, practically if you do if you do nothing, uh-huh. right? Nobody knows. Nobody oh. knows. But during the exam season, right, because CLP is a, there are a lot of material in which you, there are a lot of contents in which you have to know, mm. right? Um, but I think CLP you can pass it, uh, pass the examination. Don't quote me on that. Uh. You can pass the examination by just doing the past papers and reading the notes provided by PC. Mm-hmm. The lecturers, I think they are very good. Oh. They are very good. You, you, you doing that. Yes, I said. How was your, because you already told us that you were handling, juggling right now, okay, so how did you like, like what was your personal pros, pros, personal take on tackling the subjects and because of its infamacy it's like someone you do all this and personal take uh, um personal take I think um because the markers for CRB examination I think they are practicing practicing lawyers and stuff uh-huh. and many of them are practicing lawyers. So I think one important aspect right one important aspect is you to really be mature in your answer right mm. to write like a practicing lawyer as well. Mm. Right, um, you don't want to be wishy washy like in uh, those undergrad undergrad days, right? In the undergrad days, you are you have more dreamy eyes, right? Uh-huh. You have more dreamy eyes. Wow, you really want to do this? 
you what you're saying with this judge uh, his judgment is ridiculous right mm-hmm. because of this 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 mm-hmm. this right but CRP no more CRP you are actually practicing lawyer already mm-hmm. so you're just saying okay in this scenario right I'm going to go with this statute mm-hmm. this this statute applies mm-hmm. what you can do what you cannot do mm-hmm. simple and sweet Stuff. Oh, like that. And put in the cases. You just need to be practical. Uh, CLP is to be practical, really. Mm. You are mature, really. <laughs> <laughs> then, how was, can you tell us like, how was your, the exam week for, itself for you? Exam week was stressful because uh, uh, you have uh, five, the, the exams are all three hours, right? Mm. Three hours exam. And during my time, it's 2009. It was in uh, July, late July, and it ended on, in, on the first day of August, mm-hmm. right? Um, so you have one day gap, uh, you know, like Monday you have, uh, you have an exam, Tuesday gap, Wednesday you have an exam, Thursday gap, Friday exam, mm-hmm. then the gap, then exam, the gap, exam, gap. That's, that's it. Mm-hmm. It's stressful. Mm-hmm. Like, for you, like, how was it? Uh, like, you wake up, you do your exam, then you come back straight study, and then that's the idea. I have, I, I, that's my, that was my aim. Uh-huh. But I did not reach my aim. I, I went back and I slept. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I slept, I woke up, oh, it's 8 o'clock already. Uh-huh. Then I went to the library and studied. Yeah. 8 o'clock, I said 8 p.m. Uh. 8 p.m. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Because it's very tiring, uh-huh. man. Exam. You have three, uh, three hours constant focus. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Oh. It's not a scene to do that, I would say. Understandable. So from all this, like, what? In your personal opinion, what are key takeaways and like what do you feel like a person doing CLP needs to have and what were the pros and cons about it? Pros and cons about it. Um, my key takeaway is to do past papers. Yeah, simple as that. Uh-huh. Do past papers, read the notes. Uh, read, you can read any material, but the notes which I, I, I think uh, read those notes which make you understand, mm-hmm. right? Attend the revision classes. Two pass papers, that's it. There's no way in which you get a pass. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the pros and cons and The pros and cons. Uh, pros there are many cons of CLP uh, this paper, this CLP paper because I don't think they should fail so many people. Mm-hmm. Right? Those people are hardworking people, you know. They actually take the exam seriously. Mm-hmm. They they read seriously as well. I don't believe they, they did so badly in the exam, mm-hmm. right? Um, my key uh, pros and cons are uh, pros is that it, as compared to BBTC uh, because we have to compare uh, CLP enables, to, enables you to, to learn the relation side uh, the, you, you, are, you are quite familiar with the rules of courts right, for civil you are familiar with the CBC the evidence right? CBC is for criminal uh, right so, uh, as compared to people who graduated from BBC, you actually have an upper hand already when you come back, right? When you come back, upper hand already. The cons, however, the cons, the first thing is CLP is compl- completely theoretical, uh-huh. right? So, um, BBC students, they actually they train on cross examination. They are they, they are required to do it, right? And the the second con, I think, is the main con, right? The main back, setback of CLP is the passing rate, nah, uh-huh. as everybody knows, right? Is uh, it's low. It's I, it's really low. I think every QB should really do something about that, right? I'm not sure whether they are reading. I those LP QB fellows. I hope they are looking at my video. Right? Uh-huh. I don't know whether they are reading to do to change or, or stuff. I think it's outdated. To be honest. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh, I I if you fail to you see uh, you see the logic of it. Uh, um, if you fail two subjects, right? Not logically, you are required to only take the two subjects, right? You don't have to retake the whole thing, mm. right? Because retaking the whole thing is 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 burdensome, you know. Mm. But for bar students, right? If let's say they have thirteen modules, right? But for written examination, we have few only, right? If they fail, to, let's say three, they can only take the three. Mm. They don't need to retake the whole thing. Mm. CLP is. Uh, you have to if you fail one, right? Then you it's, con- it's called conditional pass, and you just need to do that subject one month later, right? Mm. But if you fail two, that's it. You know, you have to retake everything. I think that's ridiculous. Mm. Understand? Yeah. So, I think 
guess we'll move on to our last and final question. Right. Like from all this, what would your what general advice would you give to people who are keen on who are keen on taking CLP? Um, I st- okay. Speaking of this, I still remember. Uh, I still remember my civil procedure lecture said during our first lecture. Uh-huh. CLP, go hard, go home. Yeah. Either you be very serious about it or you go home. Uh-huh. Because if you wouldn't want to waste your time and fail it. Mm. Right? So please just be serious about it. Like what I say, just attend the lectures, especially the revision classes, mm-hmm. do class papers, no reason fail. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Alright, well, that's the end of the right. interview. Thank, right. you, so thank you very much. Thank you for having me. <laughs>